Is it the ethical responsibility of today's scientists to use the results of past unethical experiments if it helps save lives? We believe that it is indeed the ethical responsibility of people such as doctors to use all evidence available, even evidence obtained in an unethical manner, to improve lives. Whilst we completely acknowledge the sensitivity around this issue and all the suffering that had to occur in order for these results to exist, we solemnly believe we owe it to the victims of such experiments to honour their legacy by using the results for a positive cause. A multitude of these experiments took place many years ago, and while we cannot do anything to rewrite these histories, we have an ethical responsibility to prevent pain when in a position to do so, and allowing people to die when we can prevent it is far more unethical than using the data provided. An example of this is the polio vaccine, which only exists because a group of cells were taken from Henrietta Lacks without her knowledge or consent. However, it has saved 10 million lives. The action can never be undone, and while the men responsible should face legal action, doctors now have a responsibility to turn her sacrifice into a force for good. A real-world example of this ethical quandary are the experiments conducted during World War II. These experiments include freezing experiments where prisoners were immersed into tanks of ice water to better treat hypothermia. Also, prisoners were subjected to low pressures in decompression chambers, their brains then vivisected to discover that altitude sickness was a result of air bubbles in the brain. Newly discovered SAA treated wound infections, but wounds were then recreated on healthy prisoners to test this new drug. Experiments were also conducted to determine natural immunities to TB and to develop a vaccine. The results are commonly debated as many believe that they should be ignored due to the unethical manner in which they were obtained. Furthermore, one could argue that there is a danger that by using results from past harmful experiments, we are encouraging others to use harmful experiments in future to faster develop treatments and drugs for new diseases. We also run the risk that by using the data, we may be glorifying the scientists who did the experiments. Although we would not want to condone the actions performed in these experiments, we would argue that by not using their results, we cause even more harm by allowing patients to suffer rather than use the treatments discovered in these experiments. One may say that we should attempt to gain the same results in a more ethical way. But what is the value in recreating results purely to regain knowledge? The money used to recreate the experiment could instead be diverted to the distribution of the knowledge or medicine that this experiment cr created. This ties in with our previous point in the sense that we have no responsibility for what has happened in the past, but we do have a responsibility to pay tribute for the suffering of, other of others. Wasting time reobtaining these results only hinders progress and could ultimately cost lives. On the other hand, Continued use of research from unethical sources may eventually blur the line between what is deemed ethical and unethical. Public opinion may sway as many might start to believe that the experiments are just a means to an end, leading to a re-emergence of these unethical practices. This situation, however, is purely theoretical and can easily be combated by recognising when the view changes and ensuring that sanctions and restrictions are tightened before it becomes a problem. Our society has developed significantly in a moral sense, and experiments with questionable ethics are frowned upon and usually not funded. In conclusion, we believe it's an ethical responsibility of scientists to use results from prior unethical experiments to solve modern issues. We have no control over the past actions taken to obtain the discoveries, but we do now have the power to honour all the victims of these harmful experiments by utilising the treatments gained through their suffering towards a positive outcome.